It is common sense that people should not drive while distracted. Texting is one major way people are being distracted that has become a source of a new bill being put forth by Senator John Harms. It's an opportunity for us to correct an issue, and I think if we don't do that, I think we'll have a lot more deaths and a lot more injuries in Nebraska. Bill 945 would make texting while driving a traffic violation. Three points would be removed from your license for each offense. The fine for the first offense would be $200. The second offense, $300 and every offense after that would be $500. Text messaging, by, according to law enforcement, is more serious than driving under the influence. But the bill just barely passed the first round of voting in the unicameral. Senator Brenda Council voted against Harms Bill. The issue is how do we uh, address distracted drivers? And I'm, I'm just not convinced that the, the, the ban on texting would, would, would get us there. If there is one point both sides can agree on is that texting while driving does pose a great hazard to Nebraskans. I think that anything that uh, distracts drivers uh, is dangerous. Nebraskans have their own opinions on the subject. Kevin Laurenti, who agreed to try and text while driving in an empty parking lot, agrees with the proposed ban. I think it's a great idea, actually. Um, I don't text while I drive, and I consider myself to be safer because of it. I talk on the phone while I drive all the time. So how are they going to be like, oh, I'm just dialing, and prove that? It is a good idea because, I mean, everyone does it. I mean, I text a lot when I drive. Either way, the lesson learned here is that texting while driving should not be done. With the Omaha News, I'm Katie Murphy. In the early morning light along the Platte River in Alda, Nebraska, a small group of guides and tourists stand quietly listening. Around them can be heard thousands of birds. The sandhill and whooping crane migrations have started. The thing that we really want to leave with folks is that it only happens here in Nebraska. There's really only a few places left on the planet where these kinds of things can be seen. It's wonderful migration, all kinds of birds. Uh, but the biggest and the loudest and the most recognizable, perhaps, um, is the uh, sandhill crane. Cranes are wary of humans. You can't sneak up on a sandhill crane. As well as predators like bald eagles. As this is nature, sometimes the cranes get scared off. Even though you may not see sandhill cranes, I can guarantee you will hear them. But I think hearing it uh, is 80% of the experience. And what an experience it is. Thousands of cranes flying overhead. Even the volunteer guides are never bored taking tourists out to the crane blinds. They come up and blind it right near us. It's, uh, there's never been a bad tour. There's never been a bad tour. It's always been good crane viewing. I'm retired. I have time to do it. And the people that I take out there really enjoy it. So, and I get a thrill out of it. While there may be five to 600,000 sandhill cranes, there are only around 500 whooping cranes in the world. 263 fly through Nebraska. Uh, they're marvelous birds, seven foot plus wingspan, pure white with black wingtips. Uh, and so to see a wild whooping crane while in Nebraska, it really is a, a, a tremendously exciting thing to see. The Nebraska Nature and Visitor Center is more than just cranes. But the center's hope is... When they're traveling down I-80 and their destination is Chicago or Denver, that they'll start to recognize, hey, I'm in the middle of a really an awesome ecosystem. For the Omaha News, I'm Katie Murphy. The Westboro protesters came in force to display their colorful signs which protest against homosexuals, the Catholic Church, and Obama. They also sang songs celebrating the use of IEDs, improvised explosive devices, against U.S. troops. But amid the hate signs, a counter-protest showed up with more humorous and light-hearted signs. Well, I'm here just because, you know, I hate, you know, radicalism. That's what I hate. And these people, they don't really have any basis for their beliefs, and I just feel like making fun of them. The counter-protesters were working towards drowning out the Westboro group, making fun of, and also... I try to make people's days a little bit lighter, because who's going to have a good day after seeing such, you know, mean signs? We win! For the Omaha News, I'm Katie Murphy.